but uh, rather a short one. So I just wanted to, um, you know, check with you all if you were able to, um, you know, get that new resource material, if you check that, you know, if you went through that, right, it is a, it's a book and it's it's a guide on writing a research paper, right? It's, uh, it's quite useful. So you can go through that uh, and I think, Okay, success. So, were you able to see that, or uh, is there a problem with that? Um, yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah, uh, we couldn't see that. You couldn't see that, yeah, because I see one comment there that he uh, by success saying that he can't see it. Okay, just a minute. Let me let me just upload it uh, once again and see if that's uh, an issue. I don't know what happened here. Um, okay. Okay, let me just see. Okay, uh, can you just uh, check once, please? Yeah, now we can see. Yeah, okay. There was some issue with the internet. Um... And now it's working. Working? Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so so it's quite a useful, uh, you know, uh, uh, book, which you can uh, use just to, you know, just go through, just to refer to, and uh, so I'll just encourage you to go through it. You know, it just helps you prepare for the research and also uh, prepare writing the, you know, research paper. It's it's a general, you know, general resource. Uh, to how to write a research paper. So um, it just gives you, you know, some very helpful tips uh, about analysis, about presentation, um, and also about uh, choosing the topic, right? Uh, it, it gives you some more insight on um, choosing the research topic. Now choosing in the, uh, of course, we we have certain, uh, certain guidelines, right? It has to be table based and, and, and so on, what we discussed earlier. So. Uh, so based on that, of course, but it gives you some uh, some additional information, right, on how to go about it. So you could use that, um, and also about the target audience. You know, uh, who are you uh, targeting? In the sense, uh, you know, what is it about? Who are the people from whom you are getting the information, or what is the study about? Uh, what kind of people? And so even that information. So you can go through that. Um, there is a section on doing the research. There is a section, uh, you know, on on the internet, uh, uh, on Google, doing those searches, how to go about. So it's it's quite a, a very simple um, and and yet detailed, um, you know, uh, resource which you can refer to. Right, you can keep referring to it over and over again at any point uh, in your in your research. Right, so so that's uh, that's something that you can go through. Yeah, I'm glad I checked. I thought it was uploaded. Right. Okay. Okay. So I just want to open this time up. If um, you know, if any of you have any um, any questions, uh, I hope you would have started, you know, doing some work on what your um, you know what you've uh, decided. So any questions? on what you've started and maybe you encountered some challenges, some problems, any questions, you can feel free to ask and we can you know, take a look at that. Any questions at all? Um, uh, we have to write uh, our uh, 
assignment in in this format, uh, sir. The format you sent the, the for just now. No, no. This is a book. This is a book oh, that will okay. help you. Yeah, this is a resource that will help you to give you details about how to go about it. You know how to analyze. Um, and so on. So it's it's something that you can refer to, but the format is a template that I gave. You know um, uh, that we we had actually shared earlier. I also gave you a link. You know, saying it's the MLA format, Modern Language um, Association. That format uh, is what we're going to use, right? So that uh, yeah, you just familiarize yourself. Time from time to time, you, I think it's good to just go over that and see what the format is about, and then also the template. You know, uh, uh, let me just uh, double check that whether you receive the template. Um, just a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, if you can go to. Yeah, resources. Yeah, it is there, right? um the template i think yeah that's that's been that was posted on jan 19th so the mla sample template right Karan? so you can uh follow that so that's a that's a simple enough format so it uh you know and before that we had actually there was a link that i had shared no in the guidelines which has a link to what the you know that that gives a very detailed uh, explanation of what the MLA format is. Um, so each um, each kind each each of these rep, uh, report formats have their own guidelines, like what the font should be, what the I mean, what the font size should be, what should be the line spacing, and all that. So you can follow that, and the template is there to uh, to make it simpler for you. You just have to follow the template, right? Okay. So anything in particular about the the research itself, you know, that you started off, um, anything about the reading material, anything about the uh, resource itself, any any challenges, any difficulties, or any challenges in starting, getting started? Maybe you've still not started and, you know, you're finding it difficult saying, okay, how do I start? Where do I start? You know that kind of a situation also maybe you can can you know you can just we can talk about that okay any challenges of that nature anything at all No. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. If there's nothing, then um, I just want to share something. Just give me a minute. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just watch this video, okay? And uh, uh, I want you to make some observations. Uh, just like you to observe the video, and then I will have some questions after the video. Okay, so... So, so it, it's, it's a, another small exercise for us to you know, put it in writing, right? What we've observed, what we're analyzing, put it in writing in simple language, right? So, uh, but I like us to frame like full sentences so that, uh, you know, thinking uh, about the, um, the you know, the presentation in mind, right? So uh, how best I can present what I'm seeing, what I'm observing. So let me just share that and... Um, yeah, let's see if that uh, happens this once. Uh, but I, I just like you to um, tell me 
if you can hear the audio also okay it is a video that i'm playing uh, i just like you to tell me if uh, uh, if, I, if you can hear the uh, audio also um, okay let's see. Okay. Okay, let's check this. Um, can everybody see that what I'm sharing? Yeah, can you just uh, just tell me quickly? Tell me if you can see it. Okay, now can you just tell me if you can Thank hear? Thank you for the opportunity to be able to come to you and yeah. uh, uh, spend Thomas, you have time a problem, with you. The word you of God and prayer, although. These are just short and brief you moments. Can see, you can hear we also, right? That these devotionals okay. are okay. building so, you up and encouraging you in your walk of faith with the Lord. Okay, now um, what I'd really like us to do is to to watch this, um, to kind of take down, right? To to um, whatever you're observing. Okay, so I just like you to. Write down maybe points about what uh, what pastors uh, saying, uh, but generally be observant. Okay, about the entire video, and uh, and then I will ask. I'll post some questions, uh, which you can you know which you can type out the answer um, uh, in your own. I mean, you can write it down, and then we can share it later. Okay, but uh, first of all, I would just like you to watch this video. Okay, I'm going to like switch off my screen so that. Uh, um, bandwidth is okay. Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to be able to come to you and uh, spend time with you in the Word of God and prayer. Although these are just short and brief moments. We trust that these devotionals are building you up and encouraging you in your walk of faith with the Lord. This week, uh, I just want to share some stories from our own life, especially the early days, the very beginning of from the time of coming to know Jesus Christ as my Savior and uh, some things that took place uh, in those early days. Uh, personally, it is always very encouraging to look back and think about the ways in which God has worked. And uh, we also know that sometimes stories uh, are something that people enjoy hearing and can be inspiring. The very first story that I want to share this week, of course, is how I came to know Jesus as my Savior. And it happened in a very, very simple way. I had a friend in school. This was uh, sometime in October of 1981, just before my 13th birthday. Uh, I had a close friend. Uh, he was, uh, at that time, he was. Uh, a believer in Jesus, uh, but he came from a non-Christian background. Now, I did not know that he had actually come to faith in Christ. I just thought he was uh, a friend who was from a non-Christian background, but we were close friends because we played football together, soccer together uh, in the school team, and uh, so we were very close. And one afternoon, he invited me, said, would you like to come with me to this chapel? the school where we were studying, that we had a chapel. I was quite surprised why my friend, who was from a non-Christian background, 
is going to the chapel during lunch break when usually we go play football. Uh, but because he is my good friend, I said, OK, I'll come with you. So we went to the school chapel and there I saw uh, boys who were praying. And these are some of them I knew, my friends. So I was very surprised because I didn't know this was happening in my school. And uh, towards the end of that short time during lunch break, when boys were praying, our, one of the teachers who was leading that group came. Uh, he saw me, then he said, uh, you come back tomorrow, I'll talk to you. So the next day I made sure I went back, had my lunch, went to the chapel during lunch break. The teacher was there, he took me aside. Uh, he shared a few words with me and uh, then he prayed with me, led me in a very simple prayer. Now, at that moment, I did not feel anything. In fact, I didn't even necessarily understand everything he spoke to me. I just prayed. I didn't feel anything. I didn't see any vision, nothing. But something happened from that moment on in my life. Nobody forced me. Nobody compelled me. But something in me had changed. And I was able to go back I went back to the chapel. I started reading my Bible, started praying. Something had changed in a very simple way. And I'm reminded of what happened in Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 11 through 13, where the Bible says, oh, Elijah heard the sound of an earthquake and a fire. And, and then there was a still small voice and it, God was in that voice. When I look back at those that moment, the thing I could take away is this, that sometimes God works in a very quiet way, but in a very, very powerful way. I didn't know it was happening, but in those few moments of prayer, my life changed forever. So even though it was a very quiet moment, it was a very powerful moment. It was a life-changing moment. God works in very quiet ways, but yet, very powerful ways. Be open to that still, small, quiet work of God that He's doing in your life. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that many times in very quiet and yet powerful ways, you work in us to change our lives forever. Help us to be receptive to those quiet ways in which you work. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I hope you, you know, uh, um, I, I hope it was clear. I think some of you dropped off and came back here and said, um, but I think you got most of it. Um, okay, so let's, uh, I'm just going to, uh, post a few, few questions here and I'm just going to read it out um, so that those who are on the e-learning platform can also um, know. Okay, so here are the questions. I put it on the chat. So in the video, what was the color of the pullover or cardigan that Pastor Ashish was wearing? Okay, second question in the video, was he wearing a watch? Okay. Third question, how old was Pastor Ashish when this incident happened? Okay, fourth question, what happened at the school chapel? Okay, so four questions. And we're going to take about maybe five minutes to write these uh, answers for the four questions. Okay, so uh, let me read the questions again. In the video, what was the color of the pullover slash cardigan that Pastor Ashish was wearing? In the video, was he wearing a watch? How old was Pastor Ashish when this incident happened? And what happened at the school chapel? So in your own words, I want you to um, describe or answer these questions in your own words, but make sure that the answers are in full, complete sentences, right? So this is to help, help you to um, write down what you observed, what you observed, 
and to you know in response to the questions to what you observed you just want, want you to you know start presenting it writing it down right okay so um yeah so let's take some time now it's what 9 24 so let's uh, maybe we'll take six minutes okay 9 30 um, is when we will come back and uh, I'd, I'd like you to you know, take some time to do this okay Sorry. go ahead Um, I hope everybody understood it. If not, you can just ask. Okay. So Kanan, um, I'd like you to work on this again. Okay. So what what I said was it was a full, I wanted full sentences, right? So which means that you can't give one word answers, right? So the question is a full sentence. So I'd like you to uh, start answering in full sentences. So you would have to say, okay, in the video, Pasadish was wearing a uh, Pullover. That was that. Was, this is what I, I want you to get right. I, I, that is what I'd like us to, um, you know, get into the flow of writing it in full sentences, presenting it in full sentences. So even the second question, you know, was he wearing a watch? Write it in full sentence. Yes, in the video he was, you know, like that, and um, and so on. Right. So please work on this, and especially the fourth one. Fourth one should have a lot of lot more details what happened he explained a lot right how he felt what what happened who said to him what and uh, you know so all that right what happened so what you've given is a very uh, you know it's a gist it's a summary but that's not what uh, i'm expecting right uh, i want the details of what you've what you actually heard what happened in the chat the chapter okay so just hold on to the answer like you you write it form it you hold on to it and then after everybody's done we have still two more minutes then when i ask you can post it right okay thank you
Okay. Right. I think, uh, yeah, we we'll finish. So, can anyone uh, just post the uh, answers? If you if you can't post it, like if you can't cut and paste or anything, but um, yeah, you can also read it out. Like what, read exactly what you've written. Just read it out. Okay. Don't add to it. Don't take away from it. But whatever you've written down, uh, you can read it, or you can post it here. Okay. So yeah. So Kanan, if you're ready, you can start. Otherwise, others, Thomas, Dave, Sid, Aaron, Kiran, Prince, you can just go ahead and uh, either post it or you can unmute and uh, read it out also. Okay, please go ahead. Okay, Dave, um, the color of the pullover that Pastor was wearing in the video was blue. Yes, he was wearing a metal chain watch on his left hand. Okay, it was just before his, uh, it was actually his 13th birthday, right? So that is the thing. Um, yeah, so so you can gi give more details, Dave, like the fourth fourth response, you know? Uh, yes, the, which is true. Uh, this is what happened. But um, you can, you know, you can give more details that, uh, you know, there was a conversation with the, with the teacher and the teacher, you know, asked him to pray and or, or prayed with him and he prayed and you know and what happened in the sense he didn't he talks about how he didn't feel anything and then he goes on to talk about uh, you know uh, what happened from that day on right so you could share that as well okay anyone else dave one more person Kiran, you would like to try? Oh, you heard 15th, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, he said 13th. Okay. okay, Kiran, you wanna try? Or Aaron, you wanna try? Okay, don't make any changes now, okay? So whatever you've written down, um, you just go ahead and share it. Okay, who else would like to try? Yeah, Kiran, go ahead. I just try once. Mm. In the video, uh, the, uh, the, sir, the color is uh, blue. The cardi ga guardian pastoralis was wearing it. It was black. Uh, in the video, he was wearing the watch. Yes, silver chain watch. The bear, and how was the pastoralis when the incident happened? The 13 years old, and what happened at the school chapel? Uh, in the early days, pastoralis had one friend, and he uh, invited to the chapel. And after after school, uh, um, make and over there one mentor he prayed, and the very few very quiet moment. Uh, on that day, nothing happened, but later on, the understood that something it happened, a very powerful moment and quiet moment, um, to encounter God and to receive, uh, receive, uh, receive Jesus Christ as a Savior. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Kiran. So, Kiran, is this what you wrote down or you are just saying it out? So I wrote little. Uh, but I'd like you to write exactly, right? And uh, the, because the point of the exercise is to write down, okay? Um, of course, see, all of us can speak, say it out, um, but I'd like us to write it down so that our written communication groups, right? Okay, so Thomas Passage was wearing, okay, so was wearing a blue color pullover uh, in the video. Yes, he was wearing a watch. He was 13 years old when this incident happened. So, so at um, or in the school, uh, prayer, a small prayer transferred. At the time, he could not feel anything, but the prayer made an impact on his life. So that that sentence, you no, know, Thomas, like you can, you can see how you can word it. Right? It's uh, it has to be in, like it has to make uh, a proper sense, right? Um, so you can 
reword it so that it sounds good and also it is uh, you know logical so here it's like you started with at school just small a uh, prayer so um so you just need to make that change uh, you know uh, in the school you had a small prayer and this transferred or trans sorry transformed right you've written transferred but it needs to be transformed so yeah um yeah you've got the facts right but um, you know you just need to form the sentence a little better right okay okay so the, so so these are some things um, so this this would improve you know like i said if you write every day you know if you if you uh, like you can even watch uh, a good exercise would be to watch these videos um let's say you know you have these uh, let me just put the link here it's on apc website uh, yeah so that's the link it's apcwo.org slash resources slash daily hyphen devotions right let me just repeat that uh, for the e-learning uh, students apcwo.org slash resources slash daily hyphen devotion so um, you could use that in order to if you want to if you want to to improve this uh, you know you could watch the video every day and then write a small um, summary of it of what you observed what were the key points and uh, and see you know how it's like writing a blog or writing an article so make sure that okay it is uh, the people person who reads it will will read it till the end right and you can do that so for all of us here you can use this as a as an as an exercise right but uh, it's effective only if you like do it every day uh, and uh, maybe you can even choose uh, two devotions a day right so you're getting you need to get better at it and uh, you need to uh, you need to be able to you know, present it well right and writing so um, please do that uh, you can you can check uh, you can watch and uh, you can you know you can write it down and um, yeah so so then um, you'll build your vocabulary you'll also build your presentation you know written presentation skills right which is very very important okay so we'll stop here and uh, and then you know that's all uh, i wanted to share so we'll stop here um we'll probably not meet next wednesday i'll keep you post i'll keep you posted uh, but so because I'd like you to you know finish the work or get the research started and uh, make some progress in it so we uh, may not necessarily meet next wednesday but i'll keep you posted uh, i'll on the stream and also e learning students um, i'll also e learning platform students i'll also post um, you know on the discussion page whether we are meeting or not so you know uh, if the video is not up by wednesday wednesday evening then uh, you know that uh, we haven't met but I, anyway there will be an information on the uh, on the under the discussion as a message right okay right thank you have a great day guys okay god bless Thank you, sir. Thank right. you, Pastor. Okay. Right. See you guys. Bye-bye.